Go or Java? Which one should you pick for back-end development? Both are powerful, but they shine in very different areas. Let's break it down. Performance Go is designed for speed. It compiles directly to machine code and uses Go routines for lightweight concurrency. That makes it perfect for cloud-native apps and microservices. Java, on the other hand, runs on the JVM. Thanks to JIT compilation and decades of optimization, Java can handle massive workloads and scale reliably, though it's heavier on memory. Scalability When it comes to scaling, both languages do well. Go's simplicity and concurrency model make it a natural fit for distributed systems. But Java's enterprise ecosystem, frameworks like Spring Boot and tools like Kafka, have already proven themselves in the biggest industries, from banking to e-commerce. Ecosystem and Libraries Java has one of the richest ecosystems in the world, with libraries for almost everything. Go's ecosystem is smaller, but it dominates in cloud and DevOps tooling. In fact, Docker and Kubernetes are written in Go. Developer Experience Go keeps things simple. Its syntax is clean and you can learn it fast. Java is more verbose, but modern versions like Java 17 and beyond have really improved the developer experience. Plus, IDE support in Java is unmatched. Job Market if you're looking for jobs, Java still rules in enterprise, finance, and large organizations. Go, meanwhile, is rising fast in startups, fintech, and cloud-native companies. And Go developers are often in high demand. Conclusion So, which one should you choose? If you're building high-performance microservices, APIs, or cloud-native applications, Go is a great choice. If you want enterprise-grade reliability, a huge ecosystem, and endless job opportunities, Java is still king. At the end of the day, the best choice depends on your project and career goals. Would you pick Go or Java for your next back-end project? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Tech Breakdowns.